we were created with what is known as created heterozygosity. And this is easily explained with genetics, which I will prove. Evolution tells us that we evolved from primates in Africa, specifically it's what's called the L node. It's a haplogroup and that all humans descended from them and spread around the world. Well, the Bible is very different. It says that man was created specifically in the Middle East and in the Fertile Crescent. Well, what do people look like who live there? Well, they have brown skin. Evolution says that man arose in deep Africa at the L node, which would have made them have black skin just like all Africans. What does science tell us about skin colors? Well, skin color or melanin is governed by multiple genes and genes come in two pairs. Two from each parent are inherited, just like letters in the alphabet. Let's look at A and B right now. As genes code for large amounts of melanin are capital letters A and B. As were lowercase A and B will represent low melanin in the skin so pale white people. Therefore, black skin races can only carry capital letter genes. Capital A, capital B, capital A, capital B. They can only ever produce more black skin people. Just like white people, which carry all recessive lowercase gene letters and can only ever produce low amounts of melanin children. So Adam and Eve had to have have been brown skin people. Therefore, to be able to code all the different skin colors for the people that we see on the earth today. So even simple genetics proves the out of Africa theory is wrong and proves that the biblical created heterozygosity model is true. For all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started.